First off, I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, sincerity, and wholeheartedly. And shalom to the Akwath, which is the women of believers. Shalom unto you. And you know, when you come into this truth, you know, people that you love, they forsake you. All right. And then, you know, majority of us, you know, we're, we're Israel. We're under curses. Most of us didn't have our parents and things like that. Or or a parent may have, may have died or something. You know, that's just, you know, our people just a lot of death, a lot of destruction. You know, that's the curses. But it say when my father and my mother forsake me, then Yahweh will take me up. All right. And that's what he done. Because say if your parents was with you, then you came into the truth and then they, you know, got away from you. Say you in a cult. Say you. Something ain't right. I ain't raise you like this. What's you know, the Lord gonna take you up, man. That's all that we need. This video ain't gonna be long at all. But that's all that we need. We only need Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Don't allow the cares of this life and people that you love, you know, take you away from your crown. You know, your possible crown. You know? Be grateful that the Lord chose you when he could have chose somebody else and you could be the one. On the other side of the spectrum, scoffing and being an unbeliever and just living your life the way that you want to live. All right. So. The Lord got us, man, no matter what. And it said, but Zion said, Yahweh have forsaken me and the Lord have forgotten me because, you know, all the hell that we catch. You know, it, it, when you matter of fact, before you even come into the truth, right? Uh, uh, one of the big stumbling blocks of people that can't come in. Now, we all know that the Lord is the one that picks, but the Lord is the one that have to open you up. Right. But another stumbling block, you know, is our people. It's like, hell no, nah, we can't be the people of the most high. Hell, man, come on. We went into slavery. We eh, the white men winning. You know, so that's a stumbling block to people who are unlearned because you when you go to church your whole life, you know, I'm speaking of myself now. When you go to church, most of us have, you know, we ain't never learned about Israelites. We ain't never learned about Esau. We ain't never learned about the curses. Uh, I don't think I ever read the book of Deuteronomy 28. Christi when Christians do not read, man, we, we go to church for entertainment. So, you know, so once you come into the sanctuary of the Most High. Then you be like, oh, okay. But some people don't get that invite. And so it becomes a stumbling block to them because, as the scripture said, the Lord has forsaken me. All right? So once you hear the truth, right? And now you're telling people, hey, man, you, you, Yasha Allah, man, you, you a daughter of, of, the, of the Most High. You a son of the Most High. Yeah, right. I'm African American. Nigga, I don't Like, our people is the only ones. I'm a Puerto Rican and, and they got their Puerto Rican flag, you know, Native Americans, you know, what I'm saying so-called Native Americans. That's the Israelites, so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. Man, we've been so beat down that when you give them the words of hope, they just cast it behind them. And they're like, yeah, right. But here, they don't understand this. This is why these things have happened to you. Get a quick one real quick. It said, And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore do of Yahweh our power all these things unto us? Then shalt thou answer them in which we do, like as you have forsaken me, and serve strange gods in your land. So back when we had the land of milk and honey, we took on all the gods of the heathen instead of destroying them. All right. With their images. But we end up taking hold to it. So shall you serve strangers in a land that is not yours. And that's and that's where we at today. Serving strangers in a land that is not ours. We are yet in our captivity. So when you try to explain that to them, you know, if the Lord 
Because the Lord is the one that opened your, um, you know, your, um, your heart to understand and your eyes to see and your ears to hear. So our people will be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay, it sounds good. But that's because the Lord said that he chooses you. You don't choose him. But, and it say, can a woman forget her suckling child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yeah, they may forget yet. Well, I not forget thee. So going back to the first scripture I read, for when your father or mother forsake thee, then Yahweh will take me up. And that's all we need to be in his hands, man. F everybody else. And how everybody else look at you. The scripture said, bless what man shall revile you for the son of man's sake. All right. So if everything is going good in your life, you better uh, examine yourself and see what's going on because that shouldn't be the case. So it said, behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. All right. Now, guess what? The Lord is building back our walls, all right? Our walls have a breach in it, all right? But through the remnant, as the scripture said, if it wasn't for the remnant, Israel would be at Sodom and Gomorrah. So, walls is a defense. Our defense, which is talking about the remnant, the elect, is always before him. Matter of fact, like I said, this video ain't going to be long. Let me end it on these few scriptures right here. It said, Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, How long thou thou make us to doubt? If thou be Hamashiach, tell us plainly. See? Now when you go to when you go um four chapters back, I think John six and forty four. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. It said, Yahweh therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourself. No man can come to me except the Father which have sent me, draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. And it was written in the prophets, and they shall be taught of the Most High. Every man therefore that have heard and have learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man have seen the Father, except he which is of the Most High, he have seen the Father. So, can't nobody come to the Son unless the Father draw him. Alright? So, this is why they couldn't, when they talk about, if thou be Hamash, y'all tell us plainly, the Lord haven't draw you to the Son, so you can't get it. So it say, how shall I answer them? I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name... They bear witness of me, but ye believe not because you are not of my sheep. And I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. All right. So going back to the point of this lesson, when your family or friends in the world is against you, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai have took us up, man. We are written in the palm of his hands. All oh, praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Because if it wasn't for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, where will we be? You know, just imagine, you know, we on the other side for the moment. Because the scripture says, blessed are those who endure to the end. The same shall be saved. So we don't know we part of the elect. We are called right now. But imagine being on the other side right now. That's a scary thing to think of, man. But like I said, your family, friends, your mom, your parents, for the most part, you know, um, you know, your baby mama, whatever, a woman you used to love, she, she, she dipped out on you. You know what I'm saying? So everybody that you love forsakes you. But the only love that you need is from on high. And that's from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because he is the only one that can give you everything that your heart desires. So it says, and I give unto them eternal life, a right, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my hand. So out of my father's hand. So you have to understand that we are 
you know how they say that um uh, all state you are in great hands <laughs> no nah, nah buddy you are in great hands if you are in the hands of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. And that's all that matters. All right. In the last scripture, I and my father are one. So for all those who say that you don't got to worship Yahweh Shai, which you is a damn fool, you going to die. It's just that simple. All right. So hopefully this video is edifying, man. And just always remember that the love that we need, we have. We don't care about nothing else. So hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.